Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we have assembled a team ready to go into the wield. We're going after the Mortal Blade for our Ronin Jack here and we're bringing him out with us as well. He's going to be playing a pretty interesting role within this uh within this adventure as he is going to be um using the cherished keepsake along with the otherworldly bell essentially meaning that he's going to be stress healing and healing the party whenever he kills things we then have um kaminari here our monk who hasn't been out in quite a while brother to die if you remember correctly uh, we have him with a jar of slime uh unfortunately it does put his base hp at a very low amount so i'm a little worried about that but then we've got this here the um the sensor which is going to improve his inner um, fire as well as his uh, repulsed healing. So it's going to make his inner fire much, much better. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that really helps out. Um, I could, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to go with this. Uh, transfer is a good heal as well as, a, actually it's a very strong heal. He does have less healing skills um, with one of his skills, I think. Oh no, that was someone else. That's fine. Um... Okay, that's fine with me. And then we have William coming out here. Unfortunately, he still has the uh, Embrace. We're bringing him out with his Aged Rum, which is going to give him extra healing skill and stress healing, as well as a bit more stress and a little less damage. And then the Silver Syringe, as always. So that should help out a good amount here. Um, and he's going to mainly just be healing the party up. And then Manold, our Banished Hunter, is coming out as well with the Accuracy and Crit Chance, bumping it up all the way to 19. Essentially, he's mainly going to be using this Silver Bullet right here. But he's all also going to mix in some flashing powder as well as some parrying stands for some uh, repost as well and i think this should be a relatively good group to take out with us we do have a lot of dire inches to get through today so i'm going to start off with a few of them before we jump into our first adventure uh, we have a few here from ta and another few from strange wonder our other new writer and um, so this one here is for aaron our exorcist a strange visitor to the abbey today one of the skeletal warriors entered here and sat silently at the pews they like they were falling apart, and the cross hung around their neck was glowing with fury, rejecting them. Soon I will talk, we'll talk to them. Maybe I can help with whatever troubles them so. Very interesting. We've got another one here from Annie the Vestal. I cannot handle fighting around those abominations. It wasn't even human or alive, the thing. It was like those skeletons in the ruins. I could feel its unholy presence mere feet away from me. At some point, they showed their true colours as they began to act against us, refusing to follow orders, standing idly by, even trying to destroy themselves so we would be vulnerable. I had to sleep near it too. I don't feel right. I feel sick. It must have tainted me somehow, and I must cleanse myself. Some harsh words by Annie there. She did not like going out with those undead creatures. We do have a lot more diary entries coming up, but we'll get into the mission first. This is a long adventure. So first of all, we're going to check out on our camping skills. Make sure we have um, one to prevent nighttime ambush. I'm hoping we do. If not, I'm still going to go anyways, I have to say. Uh, also, don't use this. This increases the chance for nighttime ambush. Plus 25. I am a stupid. Um, okay, it does unfortunately look like we don't have a prevent night ambush. I'm going to go anyways, but despite that, I am just going to quickly ting tinker with these guys' skills as well. So let's just go and have a look there. Because I did just see the uh, Manold here has an interesting one. This one here, as well as this one here that I definitely want to um, have available to him. Uh, so let's take off... Let's take off that and put on that. And I think them, them ones are quite interesting. I don't think anyone else had anything that I particularly want to look at. Let's uh, quickly take a look through these people. Um, I'd rather have that on. And I'd rather go with that. Make sure we've got that on. Uh, yeah, I can take that off, put that on. Take that off, put that on. We're just going to go through the guys here and make sure everyone's got what we want them to have. I think that's a little important for us. Um, that's a bit risky, that there. I think I'm going to leave that and then just check on Jack as well. I think we're good. I think we're in a good position with these guys now. Let's just make sure everyone is armoured up and skilled up because I know a few people aren't. Uh, so we're pretty much going to stick with the skills we've got. So let's go with that, that... That and that, I think they're the ones we're using, right? Yes, it is. 
Good, good. Oopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Let's jump in here. And William's using the uh, Belay. Okay. We're using Belay. Start of Resonance. Drunken Shanty. And Ration of Grog. Uh, and a bottle of rum is one that I... It's, it's definitely tough to use that one. So I'm probably not going to as much. Um, and then Manold himself is fine. And then we just need to up these two's armor rating. So that they're ready to go out. And now everyone is fully prepared to head out. Uh, and we're going to the wield here. And let's see what we can do. This I am a little worried about some people in this party. Mainly William and um, Kamineri. Just because they both have very low maximum HP. And that could definitely be our downfall. But I'm hoping this party has enough healing. That everyone should be able to sustain each other. So let's jump on. We're going to take all of our food. All of our shovels. You know what? Let's just take all of everything. We've got the money nowadays. So why not? We could actually cure... Um, William, I think I'm, I'm conflicted because I don't want to cure him because I really like the fact that it builds in onto his story quite nicely. But at the same time, it, it, it is going to mean that he will act out against against the party. It is going to mean that he will act out, um, and that that could be quite bad. He's getting extra damage from the disease. Um, it's not affecting him too bad, but he could act out. Well, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to risk him acting out. I think it fits his character. That's that's a decision I'm willing to make. It's putting a nerf on ourselves slightly, but I'm, I'm willing to make that decision. Let's jump on into this mission and see what we can do. This is, of course, another long mission. Um, mainly to try and get people as much XP as we possibly can. We have some people that are lower down on the level 4 scale, so we want to be jumping those up just a bit. And seeing what we can do. I think this should be a pretty good team though. I've I, I t I've took a, a pretty good look at their skills. Um, and made sure that we're ready. Last episode was insanely stressful. So we'll hope we don't have one quite as stressful as that this time. But we'll see. Um, so we can go ahead and take these for now. Um, we're going to be trying to gather gold. But we don't need to gather too much. Got some maggots. And we've got a ghoul already. Um... So we can go with the Belay to try and stun. I think we actually do that now. His stun chance is pretty high. Um, sorry, his stun resist is pretty high. But I still thought that was worth doing. So let's have a look. How, what sort of damage are we going to do here? We're going to get guaranteed kills on these things. So I'm going to just get the guaranteed kill. Manold here has an insanely high um, crit chance as well. So that's going to help out a bunch. We did unfortunately get horror on two people here. Uh, what sort of damage we're doing here? This guy has a lot of prop. I'm actually just going to activate our repost here. His repost is very strong. I think that's going to be best for us. And let's have a look here. I think we just go for this, don't we? Start getting some damage off on you. And that self-heal, it's a crit. So that's very nice. Grave nibble, we are going to block that. I was hoping for the repost kill. We didn't quite get it. But that's not terrible. He's going to skull toss, yeah. Manold's taking quite a bit more stress than uh, than I was expecting early on, but that's that's okay. Um, I think we finish off you. That's a good idea. Um, and here we do this. That gives a big heal and a significant stress heal as well. And then we just go in for the slices. Unfortunately, Jack did miss there, but that's okay. Um... This does have good stun chance and extra accuracy against human. That's fine. We'll just go for the normal hit. There's a crit coming in. Manol should be getting some pretty good crits. And he even... He even um, stunned him. I think... Wait a minute. We may have found something incredible. So do you know how different characters have different special abilities when they crit? They buff themselves. I have a feeling that Manold is the chance to stun. And we've built him for crit. Because he doesn't... This ability does not have any chance to stun. So the fact that that stunned him makes me think that is exactly how that works. Which is pretty awesome. Um, stress levels have normalized now. We are constantly going to be lowering our speed with William as our healer. That is one problem. But it's not a significant problem. So I'm not worried about that too much. We're going to debuff him here. Go for the slice. Nice cut. 
and then uh, finish you off here. Nice kick to the face. We don't really need to reorder people, but that's fine. We'll do it anyways. Let's keep moving forward. That was a, a very, a very good and concise bit of combat there. I was very happy with that. Um, based on the abilities of our crew here, and I'm saying crew essentially because we've got William with us, and I'm thinking like a ship's crew. Um, I think these guys are going to perform very well. So, we need to be looking at what things we can kill. We can't kill anything here. Uh, but we can if we crit. Unfortunately, we didn't crit there. That does lower speed, though, so that's really nice. Uh, we're just going to go in and hit that. Give it a good old kick. Um, and we're going to prep our uh, our lovely little repose. So, yeah, I think it's worth prepping that pretty much at the start every single time. We'll get this going because that does debuff uh, speed as well as giving us a chance to stun, even if that chance isn't super high. These guys do have pretty good stun resist, so... Actually, it's not that good. It's decent. A stun resist is decent. Slime smack. Nice. Unfortunately, that is unexpected. That was that was very unexpected. The double stun. I should have gone for the kill here. Uh, the plague, unfortunately, there. Doing some, doing some things. We will kill this guy with this, so we might as well do it. And it will debuff these guys with less damage, dodge, and accuracy. Mainly the accuracy and dodge we care about. The minus damage isn't really that significant. Unfortunately, Jack got stunned there. Not what he wants to see. If we're, if you do remember, um, a Ronin did fall before Jack. Uh, before he arrived, his, I think it was his brother, in fact, did fall, and he is here to avenge him. And and he hopes that he can that he can do that, and he can not let. His name be in vain. So, getting him getting stunned like that isn't the best. Hmm. We don't really need any heals yet. Bella is just kind of good to lower speed. One of, one of the interesting things with this guy, uh, with William, is his skills allow us to do some interesting stuff where we lower our party speed, but at the same time, we're lowering everything else's speed, so everything becomes lower. Mm. Unfortunately, he's spawning a new one of these... Fellas around us here. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, I'm going to do this. Give everyone a heal up. Gives everyone a stat boost as well, which is really nice. Let's just kill this guy. Yep. I was hoping that would work. Kill that guy in one hit. Of course, Jack giving the heal. Still want to try and take this guy out on the back because he can stun us and such. Um... Let's just go for that. The punch moves us back. We got our slime jar heal. Really? You're spawning another one? Straight away. Manold entered stealth as well. That's rather nice. He did uh, manage to miss out on that blight as well. We're going to go for the party heal again as well. Nice stress heal coming in for most people here. And then there we go. We finally finished this guy off. Unfortunately, we had a really hard time critting that guy. Slime smack here. We did resist the stun this time though. He is going to move himself back, but luckily, he has the ability to move himself forward. Nice one, Kaminari. Kaminari, even. Aniri. Kaminari. There you go. Okay, cleaned those guys up nicely towards the end there. And this party has pretty damn good sustain. Oh, I like that. Hero has hit Light Attacker. I like that a lot. Uh, so, what, what does this do? This is a stress heal, so we can leave it there for now. We don't need to use that yet. No one's in a bad way for stress. And if it really comes to it, we can come back to that. I don't like doing that, coming back to uh, Curios, but it is sometimes necessary. Um, hopefully, we won't have as stressful as a situation as the previous episode. Apparently, I got really unlucky with my afflictions. There was only a 24% chance of every single party member being afflicted. Oh, we got a treasurer. The infamous treasurer. W with this surprise, we should be able to kill him here, as long as we can get hits. That's the, that, that's the kind of harder part of this, so... Uh, as long as we can get hits on him, we should be able to kill him. Come on, Manold. Come on, Manold. Damn it, he can't hit him. Fuck. What a shame. We might not be able to get him now. We will get one more round of turns to get him. And we did lower his... Ah, um, oh, I thought we lowered his speed. Unfortunately, we didn't. He is going to have relatively high speed here. Point blank shot's going to hurt. Yeah. I kind of felt that one coming. Um, with our low HP here. He's using getaway. 
Luckily, he didn't, but that does, unfortunately, quite heavily buff his stats. We're going to activate our repost again here. Okay. Come on. Yes. High accuracy shot there. And I think we go for a big heal here. Lowers our stress as well. Hoping for a little bit of a bigger heal than that. Blanket fire, it's going to hurt. I was going to say, but we do get a repost, but unfortunately that didn't really do anything for us. Um... Transfer. I don't think we want to transfer right now. I think we just want to try and kick you right in the head. That is exactly what we needed right now. Thank you for that. Point blank shot though coming in. Luckily, we got a heal before that, which helps out a bunch. I'm going to go for the party heal here. It's more necessary, I think, to get a proper heal going on Kaminari here, but I think that was still good. This guy is... This guy's tanking. Hopefully the repost will get us a kill soon. In fact, we'll just go for the kill here. Nice. Okay. I am going to heal myself up here and activate my inner fire. Oh, nice dodge. Jack has, Jack has really good ability to dodge out the way of things. I've been noticing that about him. Unfortunately, we were moved into a pretty awkward position here. I'll take the turn to move him, just in case. If we get another heal out of this battle, then I would like to, very much like to do that. I'm actually going to do this again. I would rather get him to full health. And there's the repost coming in and hitting him hard as well. Wow. And we've really got the group into a better position now as well. Uh, I'm going to heal myself up. There you go. 10 stress heal and 10 normal heal is beautiful to see. And we finish off the kill there. And we did kill a treasurer as well, so we should hopefully get a little bit extra here. Indeed we did. Um, let's do this. Cured our, cured our stuff. It only lasts 6 rounds, unfortunately. We'll take that. Do that. And do we want to take our sapphires... Yes, I'm going to take him over the, uh, over the deeds. Good, good, good. Let's keep pushing forward. Again, this group is doing extraordinarily well. Who's got the lowest amount of positive quirks? Okay, we're all a bit even here. I think Kaminari, you can take this. Vigilant. That's great. Minus 10% party surprise. We keep our light relatively high, so party surprises aren't very common. But keeping them lower and lower is always going to be a benefit to us. So I'm very happy to see that. We do have the Blighted Giant. This is the scariest enemy for us because we have two very low HP heroes. I do think that could be very significantly problematic. We got the double stun there as well, which is awesome. Um, that's a beast, so we'll take out that in a single hit, even without a crit. And let's kick this guy in the head a little bit, shall we? I'm going to activate repurse here, actually. Okay. Poison Spores is the, is the better of his attacks, honestly. We can deal with that, and we even resisted it. Okay, Care to Vulnerability coming in. Nice dodge. Unfortunately, the repose didn't really do what we wanted it to here, but that's okay. We're going to go for the kill on her straight away. Unfortunately, she survived with one HP, so we are going to have to waste a turn killing her. But this essentially massively lowers the amount of chance of us getting stressed, so... Uh, let's start buffing everyone's damage. It's only a small amount, but it stacks. There's that crit coming in, that crit chance we get after buffing everything except Dragon Tail. Tree Smackdown, and he went for the guy that has a block. That is unfortunate for you, sir. That is unfortunate. Oh, the double crit there as well. Whoa. Is that, that gives him massive burns to stress healing skills. That's great. Um, we're going to do this, not for the healing, but for the repurst. And this guy should take quite the beating here. Tree Smackdown coming. Again, we got the repost and the dodge. I think everyone here 
is pretty quick on their feet, honestly. I think everyone everyone knows how to get out of the way of a, tr of a guy like this. They can see that coming from a mile off, and everyone's keeping scout and spot for everyone. So getting hit by one of those is gonna be a gonna be a rarity. I'm sure it'll happen at some point, but it's gonna be somewhat of a rarity, I'd say. Let's open this up and see what we get. Just them. I'm not really bothered about taking um, them sort of things right now because we just don't have to. We, we've kind of got all the upgrades we want. Bloodsuckers, we are going to have to start dealing with these soon. We really are. We're having, we're having more and more interactions with these guys constantly. Again, I'm going to activate Repost here first. I think it's more worthwhile here. Nice kill. Oh, ho, ho, nice crit. Yes. This is good. I don't even know if these guys can give the disease. I think they can. But I'm not 100% sure, actually. Wow, go for... All of you just go for the guy that has the repurse, why don't you? Doesn't seem like a great idea to me, but you you guys do you. Uh, we're going to keep on it. We're doing this because it, it does do group damage and weaken everyone up. So I do kind of like using that. And also just debuffing their stats and accuracy is always going to be a huge benefit to us. There's that group heal for everyone for getting the kill. And I will punish you into the ground. Nice one, guys. Very, very well fought here. Okay. Keep pushing forward. Yeah, we're going to see more and more of these bloodsuckers here. Uh, by the way, for those of you that are watching, if you want to give me a composition of our characters to go and fight the next uh, courtyard boss or the next courtyard event that we have, please do let me know because that is something that I'm, I've am i been thinking on for a while and I still don't know who's going to be best for us to take yet. I'm still unsure. So that would be something that you guys could help out a lot with, I think. Okay. Blanket fire. Wow. That repost was insanely good. I'm going to go for the group heal here with William, I think. Let's try and finish you off. There we go. This has just been an annihilation thus far. Also, this is a, a combo of trinkets that I've not really played around with before. And I have to say, I like very much so. It's helping out a bunch. It's keeping everyone stressed down and health up. Unfortunate dodge there by him. We all take on a little bit of stress. Not to bother. And a little bit more stress there. But we should hopefully heal some of that off right now. There's that group heal coming in. And there you go. You're taken care of, you hunter. Do you dare? With this repost, do you dare? There you go. Everyone up to full health at the end of the combat. Love it. I think this is a stress reliever again, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. If I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Again, we don't need that right now. We've still got quite a ways to go. We'll be camping soon and reading some more of our diary entries, but we don't need to do that quite yet. Um, we're still pushing forward nicely. And I think we'll probably get to this like this room here-ish before we do that. We'll see. We, we're, we're not getting as much scouting at the moment, so we may come across some uh, battles that we're not expecting. And that could uh, that could put us in a worse position, especially if we get some of the higher stress-dealing enemies and comps together. Um, okay, good. Nice surprise. Because we've got the surprise, I am just going to go for the hits and try... Let's just try and kill one of these dudes. You know what? Let's go for the double stun. At least reduce their speed. We got a stun on one of them and the reduced speed on one of them. And we're going to hit him as well. These guys do have a pretty tanky prot and they're all going to get to hit twice in a row here. Which is a little annoying. But we should be okay. Yeah. Ren the mark coming in twice. Nice dodge though. Okay, luckily they didn't get two goats in a row. Nice. There you go. Stunned the other one this time. Still going to fire at this guy. Shouldn't be too hard to take out now. There you go. Hopefully Kaminari gets to go first here. He did indeed. Look at that damage. That kick to the face. These mushroom heads never know what hit him. 
We are getting hit a bit, but we, we are getting lucky with resisting stuns and blights at the moment. We are getting lucky with it. Okay, take this guy out. The prot is definitely helping them, but we can we can do it. Keep on going with this. Loving how low everyone stresses at the moment. We've only got one person, really, that's even worrying with stress, and it's Manold. And I really don't think we'll be worrying about that for long. Okay, give him a swift kick. Unfortunately, very low damage there. Jack's kind of our main damage dealer, so... I mean, more so Manold is, I think, but... Manold kind of is selective about what targets he goes for, so... Not always the best. Well Beautiful. Beautiful. Indeed well struck. Uh, we're going to go for the stress heal on you and just get your stress even lower. Just because no one else needs anything right now. And Jack coming in with a huge, huge kill. Have we got another stress relief here? We are getting lucky with the stress reliefs. Not that we need them, but we are getting lucky with them. This momentum. Let's keep going forward. Indeed, we do have a lot of momentum. You are right. I was requested recently, uh, or at least asked, uh, I'll get rid of those and take that, um, that I put on the narration for the, um, is it on graphics? No, audio, subtitles, bottom, top. I think they'll look better on the top, right? Um, someone said to put those on. I haven't ever put them on before, so I'll see what it's like um, if, I, if I like it. I thought when I originally started playing this game that it'd be a little too intrusive for me. But if I find it not to be, then I'll keep it on. Right. Let's keep pushing forward until the tasks end. Ooh, unfortunate trap there. No one quite Watch saw that. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Unfortunately, it does cover the light. I was hoping it'd be above the light, but that's fine. Okay, we're still fine for torchlight here. I haven't got anything here. After our next battle, whether it be in this room or the next one, um, we will camp. We do have the ability to camp twice, and I want to camp while we're low stress, because the thing is, if we get uh, if we get ourselves a surprise, a, a nighttime ambush, I'd rather be at low stress. Ooh, we got an interesting little battle here. The Hateful um, Varaga? The Hateful Varaga? Your, st your stun resist is insanely high, so there's not much point in doing this. Let's just go for this. Damn. Unfortunate. Definitely want to be applying blocks here, I think. I'm going to get two repairs going right off the bat, I think. Devour nicely, nicely taken care of there. Let's just wail on this guy. He's got a lot of health, so I'd rather get him taken care of. Unfortunately, these guys having Devour is going to be pretty problematic. Indeed. Yeah, I kind of like the narration. Okay. Um, yeah, mainly go for this guy, because these guys are going to heal up anyways. Also, I don't really know what he does, so... A decisive pummeling. We are... Yeah, we're destroying... This this comp is getting destroyed way faster than I thought it would. These enemies look pretty... Devious, but... Ooh, that hurt. Okay, unfortunately we have to shoot that. I do want to get a turn in to heal ourselves up anyways. There you go. There you go. Up to full and a massive stress heal as well. Unfortunately, you can only repose from here, so that's fine. And, oh, that didn't kill. He's going to get another turn. Damn it. I knew this was going to happen. We're going to get stuck in a, in a battle with this dude. I'm going to delay this a little bit, which is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to delay this fight a little bit. There you go. Just get some extra healing out. I was hoping that Jack would get the kill anyways, because he's going to heal everyone up. Nice. Okay, so we can go to the end of this room without having to camp. So we'll go back over there, then come back here and camp. We are looking for 90% rooms cleared. Purpose is made clear. Purpose is made clear. You have to let me know what you think of the narration. I personally like it without the subtitles, but if it, if if the viewers enjoy it more, I'm perfectly willing to keep it on. I, personally, I'm just uh, I'm just the sort of person that never uses subtitles on anything that I play. I find I I can I find them sometimes distracting. But like I said, if it's more watchable for the viewers, I'd much prefer that um, you guys 
get them because it's not it's not a big deal to me at all, really. Right, let's uh, camp up. A spark without kindling. We don't actually need to do this, but why not? Okay, so let's have a look. What we're going to do? Um, one companion, extra speed and dodge. Party, fifty percent chance. Ooh, that's very good. Um, so we'll do this. We got damage, damage, crit, and damage. Okay. Then here we've got self only. Um, that's pretty decent. Got some good ones here. Hmm. Nothing really there we want to use. Remove disease, self only. Um, produce a trinket and a small chance to make a hunter's tool. I do want to. I do want to um, try that out. So I think we try that out. Unfortunately, we didn't get the hunter's tool. And the trinket we got isn't even that good. So it was worth a try, whatever. Uh, and I think we go with this here. And we go with there. Good buffs. Okay, and we do have a diary entry here that I want to read before we go further. This is, again, by TEA for Harafa and Forsaken. Why do we fight? I fought because there were people to protect. I keep fighting because people still need me. Or so I thought. They don't want me here. They don't respect the work I've done. I'm not looking for fame and glory, but it's becoming harder and harder to keep fighting, knowing that I won't ever come home to a friendly face again. It's been years since I've turned to the light. My body rejects it, but it's only it's, it's the only warmth I know now. That is that's that's unfortunate. We do have one more here. I'm gonna go through, uh, and this this one's by Strange Wonder for Octavia Antiquarian. Blasted town. I will never leave here. No golden trinket can ever make me forget the horrors I have seen within these places. I can't do it anymore. I can't feel the will to live. My sanity slipping away from me every single second I spent in this cursed town. I want to run away, but I know it'll never let me go. I am done. I'll never get out of this place alive and none of us will. Screw it all. I never thought I could be um, seen in a dirty sinful place like this. I'm going to the brothel. I don't care about the looks others give me. I need to take my mind off ever, the ever approaching death somehow. Just make me forget. Just make me forget. Wow. Octavia took a real beating. She's, she's even letting her morals slip to try and feel some sense of normalcy. In radiance, may we hey, no, no ambush. Good, good. And let's keep pushing ahead. Right. Trinkets and baubles. Ow. Paid for in blood. We'll swap these two around. Doesn't really matter if we swap these two around or not, to be honest, but... I feel more comfortable with them that way around. Okay, nice scout there. We managed to see a lot of what's ahead of us right now. Nice scout indeed. Okay, battle coming up. Pretty tough one. This is too... Luckily, we got the, the surprise here, actually. Because these are two pretty heavy stress dealers. I'm definitely going to go for the stun here. Ah, unfortunate. We re they resisted both there. Okay. Jack, I think you're just going to go for the kill on this, this woman. Because I think... Yeah, I was going to say, I think with the combination of them two, this makes this whole fight a hell of a lot easier for us now. We're just going to go straight up, straight up damage on this guy. Do as much as we possibly can to him. And I think we should be able to kill him relatively quickly here. Howl is going to be a problem, but we know that we're, we've got a team here that's pretty good at reducing stress. Um, I'm even going to do this. Just look, it's only a small amount of stress reduction, but I'm even going to do some stress reduction there. Just to make sure we're taking as little as possible. And holy hell... Manold, you beast. Cracked skull, I will take that, but I'm not sure what for. Um, I'm going to take it for bandages. We seem to be very rarely using those. And if so, it's only for a small amount of stuff. Okay, let's go this way first, because it looks safest. We do have another ghoul, but we are getting some crazy high surprises here. This is great for us. Um, so, let's go for the stun. A powerful blow. Was that a, was that a crit? That might have been a crit. 
We're going for kills here. And we take a kick there. Executed with impunity. Okay, this guy is going down. Yeah, uh, Manold is coming at you, and there you go. Holy hell! Manold crit stuns. It's beautiful. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch. Okay, reducing that stress a good amount here. Yeah, Manold plus crits is just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. Easy kill there. Nice one, Manold. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. It's looking that way. More and more likely as we press through. That they can be beaten. They can be felled. Keep pushing forward. Unfortunate trap coming our way. Unwitnessed by his own eyes. Nice. Lots of extra food there in case we need it. But it is looking like this composition has... Uh, wow, okay. Has really destroyed this comp. I am very scared that we're going to get the uh, chaos here. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Let's just go for kills here. We want to be killing stuff as quickly as possible. Giving it as little chance to uh, give us the chaos as possible. The ground nice. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, my God. This this group and crits is just a match made in heaven. Honestly. The blast coming in. Nice dodge. Wonderful to see that. Go for another kick. And a shot. Awesome. And these two should have a great time at taking these guys out. Devastating blow. Gather the blood coming in. Nice one. Nice one, Jack. Perfect. God damn. That was a very swift and simple bit of combat there, wasn't it? Very swift indeed. Holy hell, I love this. This comp is just so good. It's crazy, though, how, like, the last mission compared to this one, things can just go so wrong so quick. And that's what we're going to be experiencing more and more as we get into these level 5 dungeons. We're still only doing level 4 for the most part, but once we head into these level 5 dungeons, things are going to end up turning for the worst pretty swiftly. Pretty swiftly. Things aren't going to be as easy. We're going to get new monsters appearing, lots more stress coming in, more damage coming in. It's going to be a lot more necessary to have consistent healing and things of the like. We're going to notice um, we're taking some very swift and quick damage. Okay, nice. Waiting to be spent. More bloodsuckers, yeah, we really we really gotta deal with these. There is just a ton of these things out at the moment. An absolute ton of them. Nice. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Right, make sure we kill as many as we can. We want as little chance as possible for them to give us the disease, so we want as few enemies. The thirst coming in on manholes. Is, I'm pretty sure Manold has already had the Crimson Curse. I'm pretty sure he got it previously, so... He kind of knows. Bombing run coming in. That was lucky. Um, let's get you healed up, Manold. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Manold hates these things with a passion. yourself that overconfidence is a slow that, and insidious killer. That looks pretty cool. I just got a Crimson Court trinket. For a Dark Wraith. Bypass Stealth. Plus one accuracy and minus three stress per ten darkness. That could be interesting. I like the idea of that. I very much like the idea of that. 
And I also, I love the sprite for it as well. It's very good. The art for it, should I say. It's not a sprite, is it? Right. Come across some brigands, some cutthroats. At this point, I'm I'm on a, a full damage bender. I think we just go for it with these guys. Because we're just getting crits like crazy. <laughs> as you can see. I'm going to set up this, which we haven't done previously, but I'm going to set up that. Slice and dice coming in. Big hits there. Blanket fire coming in. He did resist the stun as well, unfortunately. Shank. Lots of damage coming through right now. A little bit extra stress here. I think we get off that going. So, we can kill this guy in a single hit. We unfortunately didn't, but... I was hoping. There we go. That's what we like to see. I'm going to heal myself up and activate Repose here as well. And finish you off. Don't you dare shoot at me. Don't you dare. Okay. Okay. Nice. Stress is getting a little high on a few people, but not, not so high that we have to worry, to be honest. Nice. Good to see. Unlock this. We're going to camp up once more. And we're probably going to use the same things as last time here. So we'll go with this here. We'll go with this here. And we'll go with this. Sadly, not doing too hot, but I have to try it again. Nice, nice rest, guys. Ooh, and I forgot to do this. I was going to, I hope one of the main points I did that was to read some more diary entries. And uh, next one we have here is our diary entry for Sabrina and Falconer by Strange Wonder. Everything here is out to kill me. The monsters we call comrades, the ever-increasing swarms of beasts, undead, and abominations, and the bandits. Those bandits are everywhere. I can't help but feel they're hunting me, and only me in particular. Why would they need me in this cursed curve otherwise? Everything is out to get me. I know it. I just know it. Shadows of my past haunt me. They always will. Maybe even the ancestor is out to get me. No. I need to calm my mind. Spend some time away from it all. I can't think straight. I can see shadows and faces everywhere I look. Just need to calm down. Yes, calm. Maybe I'll be better soon. Wow, she is there. Everyone kind of has got a bit stressed out over here. Okay, that's a pretty awful rearrange. But I, I can deal with it. I can deal with it. Ah, uh, really? Did you have to? Did you have to? Kill you first, you're, you're pretty problematic. Definitely set this up while we're here, because we can't attack. Heal you up, man old. That's what we like to see. Oh, what? No, I was hoping for the reverse. That's definitely what we like to see. Evil game. <laughs> you made me say that preemptively. Manold's taking a bit of damage here from the bleed. Move him back. <laughs> Jack, always coming in clutch for the group here. Always. Nice. Keeps coming in with a savage maul, and it's hurting a lot. But Manold comes back with a strike straight to the heart, honestly. Straight to the heart. And he is going to eat up as much as he can. We did indeed get a scouting chance here, and this should be our last room. Stash heirlooms. We can't carry those right now. This has been a pretty successful one. Three really good trinkets. A lot of other good stuff. Right, let's return to the hamlet. 
But that head's held high. That was a very good outing. A very good outing. Bring soldiers and supplies. Let them arrive on Harry. And we got everyone to level five as well. Great. Um, we probably want to get rid of Grey Rot here from Jack, but otherwise everyone else is fine. In time, you will know the tragic. We do have the ex um, exterminator here now. Let's have a little look. See. Um, oh, the sanatorium's free. I think at the moment. Let me just check on that. So first of all, let's unequip all our trinkets. And Jack. Free. Okay. So something that people told me about that I need to take advantage of. First of all, let's have a look. Common cold. Embrace. Pink eye. Probably want to get rid of that. Minus virtue chance over feeding. Sky taint. Definitely want to get rid of sky taint. Uh, right, apparently in the treatment ward, I can get rid of negative quirks and also lock one in on the same week. So, let's have a little look-see at what sort of things we want to um, remove. Essentially, we're looking for ma mainly ones we want to remove more than anything. Pessimist is very annoying. Okay. Pessimist is like the worst one so far. Nevada, how are you feeling? Retreat is never an option, even in the face of defeat. Always pushing their way to the front's fine for someone that's at the front line. That's okay. Um, weather for... Oh, the Talon brigands hunt you. Oh my god. Minus scout chance isn't great. I'm not going to look through everyone here, but I will look through some of our more important leveled up people. Uh, witness will not take prayer. Okay, that's that's fine. Willow, what you got? Skeptic, that's fine. Wow, minus damage and he, he cannot be guarded at all. Zwayne, obsessed with paranormal. Anything that makes people act out of our... Um, out of our control are kind of the things we want to get rid of here. So let's just take a little look, see if we've got any of those. I'm not seeing any major ones right now. Not seeing any major ones right now. Always pushing the way to the front. Um, you're, You mainly want to be at the front anyways, so I'm not that bothered about that. That can be quite annoying, but... It's not the worst. But yeah, we'll take a little time to look through some of these. Has a mind of their own. Definitely want to get rid of that. And... Because... I'm pretty sure her skills all... Yeah. Because of that, let's go with the contract killer. And lock both of those in. There you go. Them, them look really good to get rid of. Aaron, you're fine. I realize there's some people that have really good stuff that we want to lock in, but I'm more about removing the bad stuff than locking the good stuff in, to be honest. I have to say. Nina's fine. That's fine. Oops, that's what I just did. Bethold, how are you doing? Prone to investigating dark arts. Um, I'm... I think I'm going to get rid of that. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that and lock in Armor Breaker. Just because prone to investigating dark arts can lead to some really, really, really bad situations. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, Clint, Gluttonous, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're not seeing any that are terribly problematic for us, to be honest. Pessimist is another one there on Sabrina. Eh. Emery. You're fine. Leo, how are you doing? Leo's fine. Has severe mood swings. Mood swings are fine because it gives you a debuff that you can remove. Minus five crit after the first round isn't great. 
Clipped. Uh, Kleptomaniac is one we might want to get rid of here. Yeah, let's let's uh, get rid of that and lock in that. There you go. That seems good to me. That seems like a, a, a good use of that uh, event. Let's check up on our Nomad Wagon to see if there's anything else we want to buy here. Um, that's fine. Arsonist? That seems decent enough. Hmm. I'm going to take that. That, seem, that seems good to me. That seems decent enough. And who we got here? Ooh, we've got some higher levels coming in this time around. So we've got a champion keeper, which I think is someone we need to level up. Uh, let's have a look. Where is our keeper? I think Mary's our keeper. Yeah, so we're going to bring her in at a level 5. Let's make sure she's got the right skin on. There you go. Is that the right one? Yeah. And we're going to quickly remove this one and rename the new one to Mary another soul battered and broken cast aside like a spent torch there we go and who else we got um everything else is is lower level so that's fine but well, that's, that's been a very good week. Uh, we have one last diary entry to go here. And this is from the local tavern owner written by Strange Wonder. Well, the, to the town this week is quite the sight. The priest is spending all his ta all his cash and... Uh, sorry. The priest is spending all his cash at the gambling table. And a new customer I haven't seen before decided to come in and meet our night butterflies. Don't think I saw her face around the tavern before. Paid extra for me to keep my mouth shut about her being there. Probably one of those fancy adventurers that came in the place to fight all, all, all the monsters. Looked all dead inside. Can't say I envy any of them. And there's a small interaction here that, that these guys have written as well. Um, Renault says, Octavia, please have some decency. Don't let the stress of this place take away your dignity. And Octavia in the brothel says, Decency? Dignity? Have all you looked around? And then Red ch chuckles while sipping some wine. Come on now, don't be so reserved. Um... Secretary, relaxation, relaxation is one of the only things we have in this place, really. Besides, the chapel is filled with other poor souls from the last expedition, you know. I'm sure you'd not want Octavia to drink herself half to death or gamble away the money. Then Renault says, pocketing a silver watch. I'm sure there are much better things that she could be doing. And Octavia says, oh, shut up. I don't have time for this. I already paid up front. Saying that, she storms off into one of the rooms, eagerly followed up by two figures as Red simply chuckles as she gets more wine. I love that. Love that little interaction there. That was written by two different people as well. Tia and Strange Wonder wrote that together. Hope you guys did enjoy that. That was a really good episode. Lots done. And I will see you guys in the next one.